Hello, uh, my name is Lisa Hulain, and I'm presenting on behalf of the team uh, listed on the slide here. And I'm going to be talking about our study on prevalence of alcohol-related injury across three hospital in, hospitals in rural Sri Lanka. So um, we do know that uh, a large proportion of uh, alcohol-related injury are caused by alcohol-related um, alcohol harm is caused by alcohol-related injury uh, globally. And we know that in Southeast Asian region, uh, the uh, harm per litre of alcohol consumed uh, is very high, despite a, a high proportion of um, uh, uh, abstainers in the population. And international research has suggested that on average, uh, across uh, emergency departments, uh, about a quarter of uh, injuries are alcohol related, but that uh, can be higher in, in some countries. Um, but the information on prevalence of alcohol related injury in rural Sri Lanka is limited, uh, despite a lot of uh, social and health problems uh, related to uh, alcohol, particularly consumed from uh, cheap illicit uh, products. And the aims of this uh, study were to uh, determine the burden of alcohol related injury in a hospital based sample and explore factors associated uh, with an increased risk of uh, an alcohol related injury. So we recruited uh, adult uh, patients admitted as inpatients across three hospitals in the north central province uh, and uh, collected data between May and November in 2018. Uh, information about the injury uh, was assessed using a tool developed by the Ministry of Health and alcohol was assessed uh, firstly with the audit test for um, chronic alcohol use uh, or current drinking uh, over the last six months and acute alcohol uh, use was assessed using a breathalyzer. Uh, patients with a breathalyzer uh, reading that was uh, uh, equivalent to a blood alcohol concentration of 10 milligrams per deciliter was considered to have had an alcohol related injury. And um, this is in line with previous studies. And the um, uh, analysis is listed on that slide. Um, 833 patients were eligible and consented to take part in the study. Uh, and this included patients where we had both a breathalyzer and an audit uh, sample or a score. Uh, the prevalence of alcohol related injury was 15% among all patients and among uh, current drinkers, this was uh, over 30%. Um, in the sample, 44.8% uh, were uh, current drinkers. Uh, patients with an alcohol-related injury were uh, primarily male. There were only one patient who were, was not male. Um, and as you can see from the graph, uh, audit scores among uh, patients with an alcohol-related injury was uh, significantly higher than those who did not have an alcohol-related injury. Um, Factors associated with an alcohol-related alcohol injury were age, and we could also see that intentional injury were uh, more likely to be alcohol-related uh, with lower odds for um, other occupations compared to some other occupations, uh, and transport uh, injuries more uh, likely than uh, some of the other types of injuries like plant sting or animal bite or mechanical injuries. So the conclusion is that uh, we've demonstrated that among current drinkers in this region, uh, one third of injuries are alcohol related and uh, tackling um, problem drinking in men could reduce the burden of injuries in this region of Sri Lanka. Thank you.